Aries, welcome to Sun, Moon, and Stars Intuitive. I am Oracle of the Ether, and I hopped on to give you your energy reading for the month of July. Now, this may have already happened for some of you. The events may even take place throughout the year. So, with that being said, this applies to Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Mars, Venus, Mercury, as well as your North Node. Cross watcher, if you're here for Aries, this may apply to you. This may also apply to a co worker, a child, an ex, someone in your environment. So, keep an open mind. I have already done my meditation, called in the appropriate guidance, protection. And assistance needed to perform this reading so you are covered all right now to those that have subscribed welcome thank you I hope you receiving the healing that you needed for those that would like to subscribe go ahead and hit that subscribe button I appreciate all the donations if you would like to donate go ahead and look in the uh, description box below all right, now, what's interesting, Aries? I wanted to do your reading. Yeah, oh, Star Spangled Banners is going all day, bussing. But anyway, I wanted to do your reading last night, and you know, my phone said not today, but it's all right because I got the first three minutes of the reading, and I'm gonna go on ahead and try to attach it, okay? So if you see that come up, before your actual reading just know that i had made a post about that reading on my community tab and you can check that out okay so let's get into this reading either show me what it is i need to see for aries show me what it is i need to see Oh, some of you are dealing with Sagittarius's, or you have that in your chart. No, not Sagittarius. I don't do Sagittarius. Some of you are dealing with Sagittarius. I believe it was Leo. Okay, you might want to check out the Leo, especially if you have that in your chart. All right. So, Temple of Black Obsidian, the Dark Healing Chamber. So, some of you are uh, have a lot of protection. You may be into crystals, stones, and things of that sort. I do feel like some of you may be going to the water and um, cleansing yourself because I do see someone putting their feet in the water, um, putting their head in the water. If not, you might want to, you know, do that. If you have uh, Epsom salt or pink Him Himalayan sea salt, uh, what is the other one? Yeah, the things of that sort. You could take you a purifying bath. And so here we have abundance of solstice, stellar blessings of the celestial goddess of abundance. So you are definitely being um, shined down upon from your ancestors, God, your higher self, whatever it is, your guides, God, the divine, all right, is here and is protecting you. Some of you may need to purchase a black obsidian. Some of you need to clean out your house because the terror is right there in your house. Moving might along. Now, here we have the knot of Isis. Energetic stabilization with the buckle of the beloved. So, you are definitely being, being asked to make a connection with the divine. Some of you left your you not left but you strayed off of your path and the beloved universal life force energy is asking you to come back um you may feel a little bit erratic at the moment and so i feel like you know centering yourself you know if you're into like meditation you might want to light you some candles sit in some water especially if you have a fire and water mix that might be good for you, okay? Keep your protection up always. The dark mysteries. Enter the chamber of the dark goddess, okay? So someone is trying to figure out something that's hidden, all right? You may be watching someone transform right before your eyes. I'm getting that. Some of you have a connection with Hathor. Uh, others of you are probably in the dark night of the soul. Okay, are about to enter one. So, 
the queen of heaven. Oh, did this come out yesterday? I believe so. Blessings from the divine, divine empress of the skies. I believe this did come out either in Leo or in the three minute video upload that I'm going to upload with this. Okay. So this is talking about, obviously, um, some of you are connecting with your ancestors that have passed over. Others of you are connecting with your divine feminine or your divine masculine. Okay. You are definitely favored at this time. What is this here? Wings of Isis, uniting with the angelic self. Yeah, you're being called to make a conscious decision. Some of you are actually um, ascended masters or have connections with archangels. Okay. Power of seven scorpion, scorpions, okay? So power power to conjure up lower vibrational forces. So you're definitely um, a gatekeeper, a guardian of the gates, okay? You're, you're needing at this time to do some real uh, research and study on the lower vibrational forces. Uh, realize what you're you're working with because uh, I don't I don't believe some of you realize how important your bloodline is. So let's go ahead and get in to this reading. Yeah, mother of life. Oh, mother of life, nourishment of the golden grain mother. Okay, so some of you are healing the uh, matriarch or trying to heal something with the matriarch, possibly with their child's mother or just your mother, uh, your, the matriarch, the legacy, talisman of potency, charging sacred objects of power. I believe this came out as well. Okay, some of you are dealing with uh, wolves and sheep clothing, and you're needing to charge your, um, your healing tools. You're also needing to cleanse your environment. Okay, pyramid of light, step your vibration deeper into love yeah i feel like some of you are uh, working 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 and you're missing the bigger picture okay all right Whew. look at this power of light yeah this came out in leo's reading so some of you definitely have leo in your chart get there show me what it is i need to see the Dark Mysteries, Initiation, Spiritual Testing of Ra and the Lady Isis. Some of you have connection with Sirius, okay, um, and the Dark Mysteries. Someone is watching you be initiated or you're watching someone else be initiated. You could also be guiding that person through the darkness or they are guiding you. At the bottom of the deck, we have Wings of Isis, uniting with the angelic self. Some of you are definitely wanting to uh, unite with your divine feminine or your divine masculine here. Divine destiny, path of the divine warrior. Oh, yes, most definitely. Um, there is a spiritual battle going on in your behalf, Aries, with you and your counterpart. Uh, proper burial for freedom, sacrifice to Osiris, Lord of the dead. Yeah, you're needing to let go of a person, place, or thing to uh, do this completion. I feel like some of you have um, karmic debt, and uh, it's not going to apply to everyone, but the debt is surrounding your legacy, your family legacy. So something was wronged in a past life or in the past, okay? that needs to be dealt with and you may be the initiator of that okay you may be aware of that you might not be if you are a healer you work with stones and crystals you have uh, a legacy of shamanism you are a healer and you are being called to go to your tribe i'm hearing that specifically okay oh it's busting time, huh? So how's that Mars and Aries energy treating you? Do you feel happy? Do you feel excited? Do you want to have sex? Do you want to fight? Because that's how I feel, okay? All of those, just, yeah, all of it. And yesterday was even, even more intense, okay? See it? You know, they just started shooting and busting and popping and all of that. When I got to you, Aries, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? 
Whoa, it's going down. All right, Ether, show me what it is I need to see. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visual, visual, your, <laughs> your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Passion. Oh, they bussing. It sounds like bussing. Everything sounds like bussing to me. I'm in California, but it's actually firecrackers. Okay. Now. We have passion here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. All these angelic wings. Some of you may even be angels. Okay? Um, my guy said fallen angels. Oh, we're going to move right along. All right. <laughs> Get this down. Whoa. So, finance is a career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Spirit wants me to look under. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yeah, I think that you're working pretty hard for your family or your legacy, but you're losing yourself in the process, and Spirit wants you to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. A unicorn does not belong trapped inside of a fence. Okay, however, this unicorn kind of like reminds me of a carousel figure, like it's going up and down, up and down, and they're stagnated, not really getting anywhere. All right, of course, we know that the unicorn can hop out, but if it's a string attached to them, they're being manipulated. All right, you may hear my air conditioner come on, it'll go off in a minute. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So there's a three-party situation here. Okay? Unbeknownst to you, this could be a person or a place. Okay? Um, meaning a job uh, that might be affecting your love life. Um, or a person. A third party. Or even a third energy. I'm getting separation separation give your give your relationship a chance work on your partnership i do feel like some of you may have went into um you know the south node you may have regressed a little bit in this mercury retrograde energy okay i'm getting in the month of january some of you may have went to a past person to heal some family issues, okay? Because this is saying your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I believe some of you have some attachment to um, the status quo. You're very much afraid of how you appear to others, okay? And this may be hindering your growth process because this energy is so powerful that you are a healer. And I think you may be turning a blind eye to that. Yeah. New love. A new person has stirred your remote romantic feelings. Okay. So I feel like you're definitely looking at a new love. Um, this may have been someone that you've known in the past and you've seen them with new eyes. Or this could be someone that you possibly met or will meet. Okay. So right now you're paying attention to the red flags in your current situation. The signs are cautioning you. Okay. I feel like Aries, you are trying to hold on. Okay. Um, to something that, you know, is not you know, that has ran its course here with the codependency and addictions are affecting your romantic life and make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I feel like you, you realize someone is very codependent on your energy. I feel like you may feel this person is smothering you at this time or that's how they feel about you okay so someone feels you are worth waiting for and divine timing is working in your love life all right yeah here we have this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek all right too many cards spirit ether show me what it is i need to see mm. so this situation involves a wedding this situation um involves marriage all right so here we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy and past life relationship. You have known each other before. So some of you may um, be aware of this energy. And this is just a confirmation for you. All right. So Ra 
and Lady Isis, right, <laughs> is uh, watching you and watching what's going on around you. Some of you are holding on to a past energy or um, you keep trying to recreate something that is, uh, I'm going to say it did, okay? So here we have past life relationship. You have known each other before, okay? So for this is, feels like a split, okay? Some of you are married to someone that you been holding on to a very long time and you're looking or investigating this past life situation okay you may be doing some research you may be finding that you have more of a connection with one or the other however someone is married okay or someone wants to get married to their true love this is the romance of a lifetime at the bottom of the deck, healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I'm hearing clearly the codependency is the reason why the you, the person you're th th uh, thinking of, is holding on to this current relationship. It's like a fear. Um, you know, this could have been someone that you've known for a very long time you may have even had a connection with this person in the past okay so with this chemistry card there's a strong magnetic attraction here okay so i do feel like you keep being pulled back into the situation uh, okay um for some of you for others of you this person is trying to heal the issues with their family, heal the issues with their past. They feel this this magnetic pull towards you. This person um, um, brings out the best in you or you bring out the best in them with this playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay, yeah, with the finances and career. Someone is working very, very hard. I feel like the harder you work, the faster the um, money is leaving. I feel very heavily someone is working really, really hard to either manifest the soulmate um, or to, to get away from a current situation. And the people around you may even know this and are working against you. All right. So let's go ahead get these. Show me what it is I need to see. So we have immediately, ding, 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 Aries, you've shown up in your reading. Very, very magician-like, very much Aries energy. Um, you know, you could be dealing with the Scorpio as well with this Mars card, okay? This is sensual. This is chemistry, okay? This is powerful energy, aggressive. This is someone um, in their masculine energy using their instincts here. Okay, so something is going to happen. There's going to be an immediate change surrounding you, Aries, okay, and your pleasure, okay, your drive, okay. You may, you may have gotten a boost of energy since Aries um, Mars went into Aries. Okay. So this is going to happen immediately for you. And this is happening in the spiritual realm for you right now. Uh, mentally, you're thinking, of course, about what people are going to think and say about you. And physically, you're ready to do it your own way. You're just, you're just fed up. Okay. And I'm getting, uh, I heard the people around me are stupid idiots anyway. Okay. I, I don't know. Hey. All right. So I feel like someone feels like they're tr okay i also heard if you're the smartest person in the room leave the room hey okay so moving right along spiritually you're being driven from your ancestors from you know those uh serious beings that you have a divine connection with okay they're giving you the drive they're giving you the signs they're giving you the power and the aggression to move forward and confront those issues that you are having you have to take your power back 
Aries, okay? So here we have Neptune. You could be dealing with the Pisces or you could have Pisces in your chart, okay? This is talking about inspiring others. That's your spiritual calling. Be prepared to sacrifice. Mentally, you are getting ready. I do feel that. Or someone is getting ready, all right? And yielding is the only way to, all right? So you feel like you have to hold back a little bit, all right? You, you're you trying to temper yourself back with all that uh, aggressive Mars energy. There's some illusions surrounding your situation. Some of you may be connecting telepathically with loved ones, okay? Um, all right. Your guides, way shores, ancestors are asking you to be receptive to the information that you are getting, these downloads that you're getting, these dreams. Um, this is about oneness, okay, with this Neptune energy. This is also about addictions and addictive behavior. Someone may feel lonely and at the mercy of you or you are at the mercy of someone. You're wanting to surrender or needing to surrender. You're having to do some subconscious work and figure out why you are in a situation where you're not paying attention to the red flags for some of you, okay? And here we have in the ninth house. So this is talking about moving forward. Okay, some of you are needing to again to get into your research about shamanism, healing, um, occult studies, cosmology, astronomy, metaphysics. This is, you know, some of you are philosophers. Okay, you may be writing books. Okay, you have a spiritual calling, you have a, a duty to teach what you know, and so spiritually. It says, as if it or they came from all there is. Okay? That's oneness. The philosophies and laws involved. Mentally, you are doing some investigation or someone is doing some investigation on you regarding some laws, possibly if you're going through a divorce or some things like that. Okay? So physically, you're ready to do it in a big way. And the universe is supporting you. I am getting strongly to tell you, Aries that whatever decision you make you will be protected okay if uh, you decide to move on out of your situation and if you have to lose some finances you will gain that more gain that back and then some there's a sacrifice that has to be made you have to take authority of your own life aries all right so here we have in gemini so i know gemini some where's gemini what's in gemini I did this yesterday. All right, so for those that are not dealing with Geminis or don't have Gemini in their chart, this is speaking about partnerships. You could possibly be mirroring your partner at this time. You're having a lot of communication. Uh, you know, if you're having past life uh, premonitions of your divine counterpart, they're definitely um, thinking about you. Some of you may be trying to release this connection or someone wants you to release this connection here all right so spiritually you're getting the downloads you need to explain what's going on your guides are communicating with you you are you are the person you're thinking of is possibly trying to communicate with you at this time on the physical plane, you are up and down. Your emotions are up and down. I believe going forward as we move closer to Leo season is going gonna, is gonna to be better for you, okay? Especially if you start doing those cleansing um, and, you know, most of all, cleanse out all the negative energy out of your home, Aries. Or cross watcher. <sighs> Ether, show me what it is I need to see. Those of you that have Gemini in your chart heavily, you probably are having some kind of uh, 
a hard time communicating or understanding what's going on or understanding and you're trying to be analytical about it, okay? There might be some sort of dispute regarding some changes going forward. Someone is trying to be clever about what they say. And here we have the Neptune energy again. This is Seven of Cups energy. This is talking about illusions. Um, the illusion that you have a better choice for some of you. For some of you, you may be doing some drinking or some um, addictive behavior. And I knew that South Node energy was going to pop up, Aries. I felt it. All right. You're supposed to inspire others, Aries. All right, so here we have the South Node. This is a spiritual thing. There will not be. Okay, so someone is saying this is not, we're not going to do this again. We're not going to go back. We're not going to go revert to what is comfortable. Okay, so mentally you're having anxiety about moving forward. In the reading, we always want to go towards the North Node, Aries, okay? And so physically, you, there's some trouble, some resistance regarding a situation that you're in. You have a snake in your environment. You may know that. Mentally, you, you're, you're trying to figure out a way to leave this situation okay so in the in in aquarius this is the tower okay so something may you may have realized something when you went back to a uh, past lover for some of you this is going to be going forward something is going to happen it is going to happen um unpredictably it's going to happen uh it's going to come as a shock okay um Okay. Okay, so this is talking about your vision. This is talking about um, mentally you're seeing something different. You may be seeing someone different. Um, you may or someone may be looking and seeing something different about you they're, they're noticing that you don't you know do the same things you used to do and they're having some concerns about that this could be an Aquarius or you could have that in your chart chart but physically you're trying to figure out um, a way an unconventional way to move forward into this abundance with this Jupiter card here now some of you may have gained some weight or you're trying to gain some weight or lose weight I, I don't know but this is saying that you know you're a spiritual teacher and you are going through a time where you are learning yourself and teaching others and vice versa okay they're teaching you and this person is learning themselves they're learning themselves mentally you're trying to be positive you you you're trying to avoid or not see what uh, you're seeing but physically this is about growth and expansion and, and for you to complete this cycle you're going to have to see you're going to have to open up your eyes now you could be dealing with the Sagittarius or Pisces or have that in your chart but it doesn't have to be this is talking about travel religion higher learning and just expansion in general some of you could be in broadcasting media and things of that sort and so here we have Aries again there's going to be an immediate change, okay? Once you make this shift out of the past and you take on this Aquarius energy, okay? Some of you may uh, feel it restricted. You may be, uh, you could have Saturn somewhere, you know, um, restricting you or showing you some type of lessons i wouldn't be surprised okay but this is saying you're going to have to be rebellious to get this abundance to get this new beginning okay you're going to have to empty the past because you are going into initiation okay and so it's going to require you to release your ex this person in the past okay this may be a past life relationship for you it could be you know something that you keep re-encountering for some of you this past life relationship is coming back and this is going to bring you abundance and 
this will be a, a new beginning for some of you you're in a fog there's a, a some delusion illusion um here okay you may be dealing with the scorpio um but it doesn't have to be this is this is the six of swords okay so you're gonna have to move away from this illusion you know that of happiness because you're not happy here for these areas that i'm reading for all right you feel restricted okay um you try to resurrect something that that needs to end here with this pluto energy this is talking about transformation this is also talking about healing and alchemy you could be a shaman all right you could be a magician or, or something like that or someone could be doing some of that on you this is also talking about power struggle and sh the shadow things that are hidden compulsive behavior a distortions okay this is also speaking about transitions and um passing so you may be dealing with the passing of a loved one if that is the case my condolences to you all right so yeah some of you are at war with yourselves you may be at war with another aries or a scorpio surrounding some illusion okay some of you really need to do some subconscious work here yeah this is a partnership with this gemini and mars pluto and neptune okay ah, in the second house so this is talking about things that you've built all right that you and possibly your partner this is talking about joint finances for some of you this is talking about the things you own and the things you value all right so the extraordinary hey hey scorpio the extraordinary power of prayer so spiritually someone is praying 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 manifesting and trying to heal um, this could be the Scorpio trying to heal uh, a, a current situation. Mentally, the highest and lowest aspects. Hmm, that's interesting. And control the situation. Okay, so some of you are being controlled. Um, your finances may be being controlled. Your possessions, you may have a fear of losing your possessions. You may be trying to heal something with a Scorpio, and there may be a power struggle here. There's something hidden. You may be finding out there's some shadow aspects about your partner. This is also the doorway card. This is also a gatekeeper. Okay, Scorpios initiate change. All right, so an unusual example. Here we go. Uranus, you showed up. All right, so when I said earlier, this is Aquarius energy. When I, when I said earlier, earlier that this is tower energy, that's because Aquarius is ruled by Uranus. <laughs> Aquarius is ruled by Uranus. <laughs> All right, moving on. I know that was corny, but anyway, <laughs> this is the tower. I'm not laughing at your situation. I'm, I'm laughing because the way I said Uranus. All right. So, this is talking about being a revolutionary. This is rebellious energy. This is also talking about humanitarianism and oneness. Some of you are scientists, alchemists, herbal healers, or you're dealing with one. You're trying to invent something um, that's original. However, there's some blockages because something needs to end with the Scorpio in the second house. Okay, so you may know this. You may be in court right now. So we're going to see what comes up here. Yeah, here we go, Pisces. Yeah. This is a spiritual battle that you're in, uh, Aries. All right. We have to go ahead and get these. Why? is initiation here oh, coming out okay the initiation is here because this is a completion of karma for you to move on you're going to have to close a cycle here with the world card someone is going to be left out in the cold financially you may have um some gripes about that you worried about someone being in poverty or they're worried about it here with the emperor card you need to stand up and be and take authority you have a lot on your plate okay this is all with also aries and taurus vision uh, vision 
Some of you have a, a vision. It's going to manifest, but you're going to have to sacrifice this old energy here. All right. Some of you have a lot on your plate. You could be a business owner. If not, you are a father figure. Um, you're in charge of a lot of people, a business owner. You make things move. OK, you are um, the authority figure. You're the regulator. You're the person that brings structure in your situation. Yeah. And here we have the devil. So in the emperor, you are looking the devil straight in its face. This could be a Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. All right. You're looking, you're noticing that this person is materialistic. They're arrogant and you may feel um, some hopelessness surrounding this person. You may feel bonded to this person here. Um, possibly due to pentacles, to money. You know, you've um, uh, invested a lot into the situation. However, this Capricorn or this person that's having this Capricorn energy is only in it for the finances. No offense to Capricorn. If this ain't you, then, you know, take what's for you and leave the rest. I'm reading the cards. Someone is studying this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy is studying you or with this four of cups energy they are mm, they're trying to figure out how they're gonna keep their stability for some of you mm. someone is contemplating heavenly with this four of cups energy and studying someone, all right? You could be dealing with a Virgo or have that in your chart with this Hermit card. Someone is definitely um, healing, taking some healing herbs, okay? Due to this Four of Swords energy. Ugh. All right. Someone is focusing here while you could have possibly been in a healing situation and you're focusing trying to figure out how this manifested for some of you this is a part of your karma okay that i can say all right some of you do need to rest here you may be finding it hard to rest you may have a headache trying to figure out and think so much oh yeah with this hangman energy you are in a conflict about what to sacrifice, what to let go. All right. Um, some of you wish you could reverse something that was said with the star card, possibly to a Aquarius, but doesn't have to be. You could be famous, but you are you you're having some type of hope um, to bring some uh, healing to a situation. Some of you just want peace and serenity. Uh, others of you are trying to figure out a way to bring some sort of generous offer to someone you may have let go in the past. Yeah, with the Six of Swords energy. Okay, I, I got to keep going. Release your ex. All right, Six of Swords reverse. Some of you may feel you're unable to... You're unable to move away. Now, this could be someone that you, um, I do get that may have transitioned. You may have a hard time letting this person go. For others of you, you, you feel bonded to this current person. Others of you are having some travel issues. You may feel that the person you're dealing with is stubborn or lazy. Um, they may they may write. I'm getting a cookbook. Wow, that was weird. It's uh yeah. All right, so yeah. I, I'm getting that this person. Uh, some of you are dealing with somebody that's really really yucky and evil and they use 
low vibrational energy to manifest what they want. I, I'm getting copycat energy. You might be dealing with someone that has like a personality disorder for some of you. Yeah, and you're watching this person like you're watching this person. Some some of you are just really defensive, especially if you're in the house with this person that you're not getting along. If it is, it's all surface. I, I do feel that um, you manifested this for some of you. This is a, uh, a family situation that. OK, for some of you, this is a family situation that you manifested. Um, I'm getting, you have a soulmate and a twin. Okay. So someone manifested the situation by going back. They didn't want to do the work to upgrade, possibly some healing. <sighs> right now, this person is depressed. If they're in a family situation, this person is depressed. Okay. You're dealing with someone, uh, you know, possibly a Scorpio that is in competition here with the Twin Flame Union. Yeah, they, someone is working against a union here with this death card here. Someone knows that something is going to come to an end, that something is going to transition. There's some, there's some negative forces or energy surrounding this new offer. All right, there's something blocking a message coming through here. All right, uh, past life relationship. Gotta hurry up because it's going to cut off. Yeah, okay. So here we have the Nave of Wands. Someone definitely wants to come in with an offer. Uh, this person is very lusty. You might They might have to travel a, a long ways to see you, but they want to bring some justice to the situation. Um, possibly they could be waiting for a divorce here. Yeah, with the Sun card. You might want to check out the Leo reading. Yeah, uh, yeah. Someone is getting cut out with this Sun card here and this Ace of Swords. Something is hidden. You could be dealing with the Cancer, or you're hiding something. You're hiding something. Someone is using their intuition about their finances here. Why is in the South Node here? Oh, yeah. Someone went back to the past. Okay. You could have went back to a cancer. Okay, or someone could have left a cancer. Yeah, okay, someone could have left a cancer or went back to a cancer with this Three of Cups energy. Yeah, okay. Someone came in really quickly with some information or will in the future and is going to cause you to either move forward or go back and try to figure out something that happened in the past for some of you. Yeah, especially if it's a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio attached to this. Yeah, there was a judgment. Something ended with the Cancer in the past that someone wants to fix. Why is in Aquarius here? Dang, it's too many cards. Thing you're gonna cut out soon. Why is in Aquarius here? Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so someone wants to make some sort of change, needing to use some discernment surrounding some engagement. Someone is trying to get some more education um, or more information about an Aquarius or someone's vision with the Ten of Wands, needing, like, needing to put those burden down and stop holding on, holding on to them. I just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
It's a burden of responsibility surrounding some sort of change or some sort of information that you're going to get. Yeah, surrounding uh, coming together or a third, party, a third party situation. Why is in Jupiter here? Okay. Nine of Swords. All right, so some of you are coming out of some uh, in, internal conflict, possibly surrounding a choice in, between two people. Some of you are being extremely tormented by something that you're hearing, possibly um, something that's being broadcasted through the media. And it's going to um, cause you to release some sort of burden. You are trying to manifest a new beginning or someone is trying to manifest one with you. With this nine of wands energy. Why is in the first house here? It's going to cut off. Ah, don't cut off. Okay, the king of swords. All right, Aries. In the first house, you're going to have to cut somebody off. You could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your chart, but you're going to have to cut this person off, all right? Yeah, because you have a new beginning coming, and it's prosperous. You could be famous here. Yeah, it's surrounding your pinnacles. All right, Aries, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I'll see y'all later.